A gentleman from the assistant board wants to see Archie. Why up here? Why not down in the hall? Oh, well, it's, um, uh, it's a private matter, Mr. Ross. I'd like to see you alone. Oh, well, <coughs> good morning, sir. I'm usually out looking for work this time of day, but <coughs> it's got today at the old chest, you know. These boots are letting the rain. Well, excuse me, I'll take oh. my old rags off this chair. Oh, thank you. Well, see you later. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a married man, aren't you, Mr. Ross? Uh, in a manner of speaking. Put it this way, I could well be. I haven't seen the lady wife for many years. She might be dead, for all I know. She's not dead, Mr. Ross. Isn't she? No, she's been very ill, but she's getting better. You sure it's my wife you've got? Oh, yes, we're sure. Margaret Ross, May Seaton, one son named Charles. Charlie? Yeah, that's right, no. What's happened to him? Oh, I'm sorry to say my information is he's in prison. Is he now? Mm. What for? Robbery with violence. She became ill about the time he was arrested. Mm. Not surprised. But she had very good attention. She made an excellent recovery. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Wasn't a bad soul when I knew her. A bit older than me, of course. Mm. You, uh, ever thought of going back to her? No, there's no sense in that. Think about it. A lot of people have become very interested in your wife, Mr. Ross. What sort of people? Oh, doctors, social workers, public health visitors, me. She's still your legal responsibility, you know. If you ever do get a job, you'll be responsible for her maintenance. And we'll be after you for it. Now we've found you, we can always find you again. Why is everyone so being interested all of a sudden? Bring me back to her. Did you ask her to come here? No. Look at it, she Mr. Ross. Got me pride, you know. Hey, look, look, you're in this dump. She's in hospital. But she's got a flat to go to when she comes out. She's on her own. But you're not getting any younger, either, are you? So we're only suggesting this for the benefit of both of you. Well, I don't know. I don't know. What happened to her? Pneumonia. I suppose I did go back to her. Things were worked out, you know. Such as? Well, like, uh, how do I get there? Well, we'll give you a travel warrant. Well, it doesn't let a mind going back. It's uh, just the appearance of it. How do you mean? Well, my appearance. Not exactly a wee bit of wear, am I? Couldn't go back like this. I mean, I had to put her right back in the hospital. <laughs> well, he'll fix you up with a suit and a pair of boots. That'll set you up a bit, won't it, in pounds? Let me put you straight, Mr. Ross. You won't be given any money. I'll see the WVS and the Salvation Army. They'll fix you up between them. You mean charity, sir? Somebody's cast offs. Listen, Ross, I've seen you catching coppers in the street. You're a bum, a drunk. The last time you took a job was five years ago and you left that off to your first wage. So don't give me any guff about being too proud to take clothes from the WVS. I see you get kitted out, but you get no money, you understand? I've got some money for a razor blade and a haircut. And I need a meal on the train. Give me a quid for the lot. Five bob. That's for the shave and the haircut. And you get another five bob when you get on the train, and that's your lot. Okay. I'll manage somehow. Right. Bit of a change, anyway. What's she look like nowadays? I don't know. They didn't send me a photograph. You're never going to judge a beauty contest, you know. You're just going home. I believe you haven't seen your wife for a number of years. That's right, ma'am. 